Denmark's decision in 2011, more evidence has emerged which adds strength to their findings. The Serenat study and Hardell's study both found a link between heavy mobile phone use and rare head tumours. Those studies do suggest rather more strongly than the body of evidence available to IARC at the time that there is an association between heavy mobile phone use and brain tumours. These studies have sparked calls for the classification to be upgraded from 2B to 2A. My colleagues and I since then, some of whom have worked at the World Health Organization with me in the past, have just published an article saying that mobile phone radiation is a probable human carcinogen, with newer studies showing that people who begin to use cell phones regularly and heavily as teenagers have four to eight times more malignant glioma, that's a brain tumor, 10 years later. The fear about mobile phones causing brain tumours is not a new debate. Previously, industry co-funded a study hoping to settle the debate once and for all. The Interphone study was carried out from 2000 to 2004. The results were supposed to be released in 2005. It took five years to release the results of the Interphone study. And it was not because the science wasn't clear. It was because of the intense politics that took place between members of the team, some of whom had been heavily sponsored by industry and others of whom were more independent. The bulk of the study said the results were inconclusive. The actual findings in Technical Appendix 2 showed that there was a significantly increased risk of brain cancer in the heaviest users. Mobile phone manufacturers themselves are aware of the potential risks, which is why they recently put warnings in each device. Well, first you go to settings, mm -hmm. and then you go to general. Mm -hmm. Then you go to about at the top. Yeah. Then you have to look hard. You have to go all the way down. Something called legal. Yes. And then you go to RF exposure. Oh, of course, I've never been in the, into this part of my phone. <laughs> well, there you see, it says to reduce exposure to RF energy, use a hands-free option, such as the built-in speakerphone. Yours says carry iPhone at least 10 millimeters away from your body. Mine says at least five millimeters. What do you think about this warning? I think the warning is, I think they're being a bit hypocritical to be trying to get you to buy more and more free talk time and then telling you you should limit your exposures. 